Hello and welcome to another Blender video. In this video uh, tutorial, we're going to look at Mike, what Mike has been working on. Um, and he's going to talk about color management in Blender, um, which has to do with Filmic. And he's talking about a certain issue that he faced um, a while ago, like December 2019. Um, and how he came up with a solution. And he's going to show this in a video, but he also wrote an article about it here with some of the more uh, math background behind it and um, how he solved it. And his solution is a node group that you can use in a compositor. So to very quickly, the issue that he talks about is um, it has to do with the fact that Filmic is being applied everywhere in Blender and Filmic generally makes your renders look nicer, which is great. But the issue is that it also applies the, the Filmic color management on top of your footage that you might import into the compositing uh, node tree. And that can make your footage look um, not as it should while the render looks nice. And if you then disable uh, color management with Filmic, you will get the, the footage looking great, but your render might look bad. And Mike wanted to get the best of both worlds and that's what he will explain in this video. So without further ado, let's jump over to Mike. Filmic! That's pretty good, isn't it? The difference between this and this bleached out mess. Okay, so let's compost 3D onto a video background or a white background. Ah, oh, that's not white. And, and that video's all greyed out as well. So, let's turn Filmic off. Oh, now my robot's all bleached out. Oh, 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 that's good. How are you doing that? A no... Film it, but this time it's a no group. Download the add-on from the link in the description and install it the usual way. Edit. Reference it. Add on. Install. Find the add on. See the dot. Me lay on the zip. Double click on the tick on. Box that you tick. You've done it. So all I have to do is, well, first of all, we got to turn color management in render properties to standard and make sure it's on its default value. So that standard none, zero, one. Then I can go into compositing and I put render layers through filmic comp. Uh, once you've installed the add-on, you can find these at the bottom of this menu that you get by pressing Shift A. Alternately, you can go to render settings and set your color values to filmic none zero one, and you can drop the unfilmic node here so your white or your video background is going through unfilmic. Ah, oh, do you want more? Do you want these in material nodes? We can do this in material nodes. So now, if you want to have a video background on a plane in your 3D scene, you can use your unfilmic node. This time it's called unfilmic mat for unfilmic materials, and you can shove it in here. Well, I hope that solves your filmic related problems. Subscribe to my channel for short, sweet, educational videos that in some way relate to art, animation and blend. Join my Patreon and help fund such endeavors. Download my stuff from Gunroad and make donations if you like. Leave a comment telling me how annoying my voice is. But this, like, okay, look, there's this section here in Output Properties. But what that does, that allows the images to look different when you load the files than when you look at them on the screen. I don't see the point of that but apparently it is useful and it's becoming on the latest versions see you soon <laughs>